following this activity and giving it a try. Maddie Nilsson and Trisha Cook with Salt Lake Pottery Studio at 9th and 9th here to share the benefits of pottery. So many benefits. Yeah, so many. My kids have gone, we have gone to pottery, and it's one of those, like, surprisingly helps your mental health. Yeah, I think that's why Trisha and I really love pottery, is it really connects your mind and body whenever you're trying to throw on the wheel, because if your mind and body aren't connected, then it just kind of goes to crap on the wheel. So <laughs> it's really important that you're really in tune with your body and, and your mind, too. So. I always say in my in my practice and teaching our students, it's kind of like yoga. Mm -hmm. Everyone, let's take a deep breath and let's pull the wall together, and it's just I connecting. I like that with each other and all of our all of our friends and community members. And that also helps with the environment. You say it's very inclusive there and in all different ages. Yeah. So um, right now we're offering adults only. We're looking about getting into the kiddos probably in the summertime, but. Um, for now, we're, we're teaching um, classes, and we're, we also have memberships um, and private event opportunities, but we do want to create a space that's very inclusive, um, that uh, is beautiful. That was another thing we really cared about, is creating yeah. a very beautiful space where people would feel inspired to create. All right, I see the wheel here. Should we just get started and we'll talk about all the benefits and also what is provided in that beautiful studio there? Yeah. All right, are we ready? Let's do Let's it. Do Let's it. get our Let's hands dirty. It. Okay. There's another ball. Am I, am I? You play with that. Okay, I'll play you with it. You just let that just be your ball of clay. Well, what is it telling yeah. you? What, what's it telling your heart? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> you just went right in your heart. Deep. We well, go deep as all the time. I was just thinking this was cold and it was heavy, smoother than I thought, but okay. Yeah, love all it. All right, so. Yeah, there's actually lots of different types of clay. Um, okay. This is yeah. a very smooth clay um, that's really great for beginners. It's called B Mix with Grog. Okay, so you just turned on the wheel and you yeah. walk people through um, how to actually form whatever they're trying to do. Yeah, so um, the first step is just centering. So I just have a sturdy hand on my, my left hand's my sturdy hand, my right hand is just here sitting at the top. Um, and you just want it to be a perfect center here. That way whenever you're pulling the walls, it's pretty easy later on in the process. Mm -hmm. So then I'm gonna open it up here with like two thumbs. And the water is really important to help mold whatever you're making. What are we making, by the way? What do we want to make? Oh. What does the clay say? <laughs> to say, do we make a vase? I think we can make a vase. Yeah, let's do it. So I... the clay is speaking to you. Yes. Okay. What does the clay want to be? I don't know. <laughs> I really love making donuts. I brought one of mine on the table there. Oh, look, an actual just art piece. Yeah, it's not functional. It's just pretty. What's functioning as a eye-catching eye point yeah, in yeah. your home? Exactly. I Reminding like you to be centered in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like whenever we were uh, talking about our business plan and what do we want to do with our community and how can we give back? Um, and I think it got back to being centered and centering with yourself and uh, making sure that we're good mentally and um, we're feeling happy and good. That's why we're actually closed on Mondays. Um, it's We're closing t to prioritize our mental health. Well, and you really have to be intentional but very present yeah. when you're here because it can be overwhelming. One small move, your, your creation yeah. changes. Yep. And then a study even poll. This is what I do with my students. So we just take a deep breath and and then we just go in nice and calm because the wheel can be a little chaos, just kind of like our lives. Mm. And a lot of our students and myself, and I know Trisha as well, this is a place that you can be able to create and also be with community members and meet new people you never thought you would meet. And I think we just really want to be able to enrich our community and give back. And I 
we we do that in a really special way. I don't know, Trisha, if you yeah, want to talk about peaceful, that. It's peaceful, isn't it? And you have classes, monthly classes? Yes, so right now we're doing four week classes. And so um, it actually takes three separate sessions to make a piece of pottery. And so uh, Maddie here is demonstrating the first step. Um, and then there's a trimming phase and a glazing step as well. So um, four week classes we found are really good to kind of uh, get you the basics and then you know once you kind of have a handle on things you're welcome to kind of like move to um, a membership um, if that's what you want to do but one one cool thing that we're doing that we're really excited about um, we actually have a community art gallery where we feature local artists um, 2d and 3d work and um, it's we love it because we're not take we don't take a cut of any of the sales which is kind of unique um, because we feel like it just gets people into the studio and it, it really beautifies our space as well. Well, so. check them out. It's mesmerizing watching you and there was no reference to ghosts until now. Oh, yes, yes. Here, until, until now, here we right. go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Information on our website as well. Thank you so much. And then you just use this yep. to take it off. Okay.